What is up guys, this is BV302 coming at you with another Fire Kings deck profile. Tested at locals my Hazy Beast build with this. Just had, like most people say about the Hazy Beast, a lot of consistency issues just because they're level 6. You need to have Pillar in order to even start doing anything. And if you just have Cerberus, he's just a thousand, a tiny a thousand beat stick that searches after he's sent to grave. So, just a lot of consistency issues. Um... So I went back, I've um, tweaked it up a little bit with Fire Kings. Um, this will this deck will see a lot more play once Yaksha comes out, which I'm hoping it is in Lord of Tekion Galaxy, because the card is just amazing. I really don't know why Konami screwed us over with the structure deck when OCG got Yaksha and Guayla. Kind of really screwed us over here in the TCG, but, you know, it's Konami. They have to make... Have to make money somehow with all this stuff, so let's just go right into the deck profile. We have three Garunix, your monster nuker, two of the sacred phoenix, your back row hate. Um, for the for um, those who don't know how it goes with the loop or whatever, if you have your Garunix loop down and you finally blew up your sacred phoenix. The play to go for when they have a lot of back row is you have your one in one on field. Activate Garunix to special summon Chain Sacred Phoenix. Chain resolves backwards, so Sacred Phoenix comes out first to kill their back row. They have to bottomless or solemn whatever this when this comes out. And then you get out your other Garunix to kill their monsters. Sacred Phoenix just allows you to protect your Garunix a lot better. And also, you know. If you want to go for big damage, you just reverse the chain, activate Sacred Phoenix, chain, Garnex. You'll see why I say that later on in the video with my traps. Um, so, yeah. Three and two. We have three Barong the Searcher. When he's destroyed by card effects, search for any Fire, ki fire King card from your deck. So, you can search out your Garnex Onslaught or Circle. Three Kirin. Fill your grave, make circle alive, and three of the fire dog, just to get out your barong to like say they have a face down, they only have eight hundred damage. Barong attack, kill your monster, grab, grab your no fire dog attack face down, grab barong, and if you want to be just ignorant, just summon cowboy burn for the game, <laughs> just to be funny. Um, spells are three onslaught, three circle. The usual for the Fire Kings. Um, I run three tanky. If I can get my hands on another bear or gorilla, this would be. It gives me a lot more search targets, so I'm just have to find those for myself. Three trade in. I run on enough level eights plus gar plus on um, Barong and search Garonex when he's destroyed during the next standby phase. So this card will never be dead in my hand. Um, three or no, two MST, one heavy storm, one dark hole, and. One Monster Reborn, and uh, two Rekindling for game. And for traps, we have two Compulse, just to keep field control on those pesky exceeds. Um, two Call of Haunted to chain, if I have Garnix or Phoenix in Grave, and my opponent MSTs, just chain it, grab, target one of those, comes out to field, blows up because Call is destroyed. So, I get to plus all that. Two Torrentials, two Dark Coffin. The reason I run two Dark Coffin in my main deck is because with Sacred Phoenix, a lot of the times I can just bluff my opponent because I'll my usual plays like opening play would probably be Tanky, Search Barong, set either Torrential or Compulse just to keep my Barong on field. For those other times, I will set this to bluff my opponent so he will MST and he will have to discard a card if he doesn't summon a monster. And also with Sacred Phoenix looping to destroy all background and whatnot. This will always be somehow get destroyed by me or my opponent. Plus I have heavy storm and whatnot. So my opponent will minus somehow by hitting this. And the one solemn judgment, which is already awesome. And my extra deck is Leviathan Zen Mains. Two Roach, two Pearl by the Roach. Uh Cowboy, My Stroke, Poppy, Other Pearl, Utopia. Corn, Shock, and Heliopolis. 
rarely will I ever use Heliopolis, just in, but you never know with my opponents if for whatever reason they're playing Gravity Byron Limit Reverse, I guess I'll make him. But that's the deck profile. I also wanted to talk with you guys about the new ban list. Now, it's it's a okay ban list. It hits some of the top tier decks. Unfortunately, they didn't really hit anything with Mermails, which is, I, I know it's a new deck and whatnot, but really, Konami, really. You could do at least something about them. At least hit the Dragoons or on Dine Down to One so they have less search. But it's Mermails, it's new. It's They're not going to hit it yet. It'll be next format. But um, Sangin's and Mighty are banned now. Sangin hurts most of the tier decks. I'm not going to say all of them because, you know, um, Mermails said don't run them. I believe I've not seen a Fire King deck run them. So it's, it, it hurts some. Um, only decks I heard are their windups and rabbit. Rabbit no longer well obviously both of them have no longer a tour guide searchable target. So you know the usual play, summon tour guides, um sang it in defense and turn. Obviously they're gonna kill that, but they don't want to give you that search. So that just slows down the decks, stops them from getting both their rabbits, which I that's pretty funny. And um Zen Mighty hurts windups because they can't go for any crazy loop to get Shockmaster along with a bunch of other Exceed monsters on the field. They still have a loop, but they have to commit more to it now. Which I've seen the um, Summoner Monk loop, but they have it's super situational because your opponent has not your opponent. You have to have a Summoner Monk, a spell you don't want to use, and Shark. That's the only way that loop will go off. Plus, they have to use Invoker, which is eh. But um. The what was it? Um, Mind Crush to three, very good side deck guard for this format with spell books. All the, they search constantly, so all you have to do is just to stop. They summon the five hundred guys, search out secrets. You just hit that secrets, or if they reveal three, high priestess of prophecy, and they have to discard it. So, very good side deck guard for this format. Kalut and Lumina up to three now. Kalut. It gives Black Wings more protection. Plus, they, I mean, it's an okay deck. It hasn't topped in a while. I'm guessing that's why Konami has given them a third Kalut. Plus, they have Icarus Attack. Um, I believe it's Delta Crow, the trap card. If you have three Black Wings, destroy all their back row or something. I can't remember, but it can be a decent deck, this format. Um, who really knows? Um, Lumina the three. I'm guessing they're gonna something's gonna be coming out for um, Lord of Tekion Galaxy or the set after Judgment of the Light. Um, something's gonna be coming out soon that they want to have um, a lot of milling involved. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a new Chaos build. Plus, who knows with the new um, rumored Blue Eyes White Dragon deck that they're coming out with? Who knows what that's gonna be about? But um, Smoke signal to three. Konami really should have, if they're giving them that much six amps, that much searchability. I really think that they just should just get rid of gateway then, because I know a lot of people were like, well, if I'm gonna, I know it's the loop or whatever, and most people are like, oh, nobody would run it, but it's still a playable loop. All they need now is hand, gateway. In either one dojo or one, one dojo, one united, or two of each, and that's all they need in order to go off. Because activate gateway, activate united, activate jo dojo, summon hand. You have four counters on field; they can start going loop for your hand. That's just so broken. It's even, it's not as bad as wind ups because they're doing whatever. But when they get um, the digusto. Wow, I can't believe I'm not remembering his name. But the Digusto guy that adds three back to your deck to draw one. They're just going to redo every. It's just a broken loop. They just really need to just get rid of Gateway altogether. It's a broken card in itself. Your opponent opens with it and they go like Sheehan, Shadow Sheehan, um, Grandmaster. They just have open field and they set down their, their counter trap card. There's no way you're getting out of that. 
even then, it's like they can just go beast, and that just will stop most um like spell books. They're not getting anything unless they have priestess in hand first turn. It probably would stop my deck because most of mine is the onslaught circle and all that stuff. So, Sam's I really don't think they need to get any more help than they already have. Um, just a uh, that's my thoughts on the ban list. They could have hit more, but they gave us enough support. Oh, that's a funny thing. Um, warning going down to one. That just says all aggro decks, which mine I consider an aggro deck because of onslaught and whatnot. It just says hello aggro decks. You wanna you wanna just go nutty? Go ahead. Warning's only down to one. Who cares? Um, that's my th ugh. well. Poor camera skills. Um, that's my thoughts on my d the ban list. Um, let me know what you guys think about the um, my deck list. It's at 41, I believe. Um, the compulses will probably come out if I get a bear or a gorilla, but they'll just stay there if um, I can't find anything. And I'm if I do get bear and gorilla, I might start taking in some of the um, fire formation arts. I'm probably not going to get fire king because he's... I'm trying not to spend that much money with school and stuff. But uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of the deck list, what you think of the ban list. And uh, this is BW3 of Do Sign Out.